Mexico is a really tricky track in F123, being both hard to drive fast and really master, as well as being tricky to create a car setup for. The mixture of extremely slow 90 degree corners through the first sector, along with the very fast sweeping corners in the middle sector, really test your car's balance in vastly different ways. Any car setup for Mexico will be a compromise, but the goal is to create a car setup which performs as good as possible through each different sector around Mexico. Easier said than done. Okay, so around this track, no matter how much downforce you put into the car, you'll always feel like you haven't got enough. So I've gone and lowered the downforce so that the car is quick and as fast as possible in a straight line, while still keeping just enough in the front and rear aero to be quick through the twistier segments of track. Go with 25 on the front wing and 20 on the rear. With so many slow corners, traction is critical. So make it as easy as possible on yourself and go with 50% on your on throttle and off throttle differential. For the suspension geometry, I've opted for a minimal camber and toe setup. And yes, I use minimal in the correct sense of having as little angle as possible in the lean of the wheel. Something the Codemasters never seem to get right by labeling the lowest amount of camber as the maximum, which I'll still never understand. But go with minus 2.6 and minus one on your camber setup and zero and 0 0.1 on the toe setup. Now, the suspension setup really focuses on a softer approach. Around Mexico, you'll be riding up and over all of the curbs at almost every corner. During both the slow and fast corners, minimizing your corner angle will save you a lot of time. So soften your suspension to 22 at the front and nine at the rear, then set your anti-roll bars to seven and two, and your ride height to 33 and 36. For the brakes, I've opted for 100% brake pressure like normal, and I've carried over our brake bias setup from Kota with a brake bias of 56%. This will help reduce braking distance into the slower corners. Finally, I've increased our tire pressures a little at the front to 22.9 PSI. This will improve the overall responsiveness a touch, and then I've kept the rear pressures low to help with traction at 20.3 PSI. And that will round out our Mexican car setup for F123. This setup will give you a very fast car in a straight line, making overtaking as easy as possible. And it certainly is possible with the very long pitch straight. I've also softened the suspension to really make the car handle well over all of the curbs, which are relatively large at some points of the track. Now let me know if you enjoy this track or if you're kind of less of a fan like I am. But regardless of whether you like the track or not, if you're enjoying the setup, hit that like button and I will see you out on track.